As history has proven, the EA-6B Prowler has become the U.S. Navy's premier carrier-based electronic warfare aircraft, tasked with jamming enemy radars and providing an umbrella of cover for enemy tracking systems for U.S. attack and fighter aircraft. The EA-6B Prowler aircraft first entered service in the 1970s and has demonstrated battlefield performance in Southeast Asia, in Operation Desert Storm, in Bosnia-Herzegovina and in Kosovo, enforcing the no-fly zone north over Iraq and in Operation Liberation. Iraq. This phenomenal aircraft was built by Grumman Aerospace Corporation and designed for operators and advanced base operations. The EA-6B Prowler is based on the basic airframe of the A6 series, however the EA-6B Prowler gains an additional forward cockpit, increasing the crew complement to four. One pilot and three electronic countermeasures officers, ECMOs. The front of the cockpit accommodates the pilot on port side and an ECM officer station equipped with communications, navigation systems and defensive electronic countermeasures, including decoy dispensers. The rear cockpit houses two ECM officers and an ALQ-99 control and display station. The EA-6B supports attack aircraft, ships and ground forces by lowering the capabilities of enemy early warning and electronic weapons systems. The avionics built into the aircraft enable it to navigate in all weather conditions, regardless of ground navigation aids, fly at high altitudes or low-level profiles, and intercept and intercept enemy electronic emissions through its main weapon, the Tactical Jamming System TJS. The EA-6B Prowler is powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-52 turbojet engines and is capable of reaching high subsonic speeds. The EA-6B is a high-maintenance aircraft and has undergone frequent equipment upgrades. Although designed as an electronic warfare and command and control aircraft for air attack missions, the EA-6B is also capable of engaging some surface targets on its own, in particular enemy radar sites and surface-to-air missile launchers. In addition, the EA-6B is capable of gathering electronic signal intelligence. The aircraft carries a maximum internal fuel supply of 7,000 kg and can also carry an additional 4,500 kg externally in a fuel pod. The unrefueled range of an aircraft with internal fuel is 1,800 km 1,000 nm. For in-flight refueling, the refueling probe is mounted in front of the cockpit. The aircraft flies at a speed of 775 km per hour and a maximum altitude of 12,550 meters. The Prowler is armed with Raytheon Harm High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile AM88. Harm missiles are used against land and sea-based air defense artillery systems and surface-to-air missile systems. The Harm has a range of over 90 km. The EA-6B Prowler has been continuously improved over the years. The first upgrades to be named Extended Capabilities (EXCAP) started in 1973. In 1976 an Enhanced Capabilities ICAP, version entered service. ICAP 2 EA-6B is an advanced and more advanced version. Its first deployment was in 1985. It featured updated operator displays, an inertial navigation system, expanded frequency coverage, and an EA-6B tactical mission support teams system that enabled advanced pre-flight planning and programming. Combining a fully integrated electronic warfare system with a long-range all-weather capability, the EA-6B has the ability to intercept, analyze, and effectively neutralize enemy radars. In 1998, Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract by the U.S. Navy to undertake a major upgrade program known as ICAP-3, Increased Capability 3, to further enhance the weapons system, including the addition of the new NALQ-218 electronic warfare receiver and the LR-700, with the capability selective reactive jamming to counter frequency hopping interceptor radar, Link-16 datalink and integrated communications jamming system. In April 2004, the system was approved to enter operational evaluation. Initial operational capability was achieved in early 2005, and the first squadron was deployed to support operations in Iraq. A contract was placed for the upgrade of 14 aircraft, which were all delivered. A follow-on contract for four, plus one option, aircraft was placed in May 2006, which was delivered in 2008. 
The third lot of seven for the U.S. Marine Corps was ordered in May 2008 for delivery in 2010. The U.S. Navy ordered a fourth lot of nine systems in September 2008. The Prowler was so effective a tool for protecting American personnel, positions, and interests on land, air, and sea that it remained operational until just a few years ago. The EA-6B Prowler is gradually being replaced by the EA-18G Growler electronic attack aircraft. The Navy completed the retirement of the Prowler in 2015, and the Marine Corps continued to fly the Prowler through March 2019.